today we will study narrow rigid t notch filter and will evaluate notch out frequency of t notch filter and will plot the frequency response of t notch filter as you know the cutoff frequency of a t notch filter is given by 1 upon 2 pi rc so depending upon the values of r and c we can have notch frequencies so we have a particular kit for study the notch filter characteristic the values of resistance and capacitors ensures the notch frequency so in this circuit we have r equal to 680 kilo ohms and capacitor value is 4.7 nanofarad so 1.2 pi rc comes out to 50 hertz so notch frequency is 50 hertz in this case so let us start with the experiment we will require this kit a function generator is needed to provide the input to the uh, notch filter and digital storage oscilloscope is required to uh, visualize various waveforms and some patch cards and probes are required for making connections so we will start with making connections first of all we will provide plus 12 volt power supply to the operational amplifier so for this purpose we will connect plus 12 volt point of this uh, TL082 to plus 12 volt point of power supply and negative minus 12 volt point is connected with minus 12 volt power supply the input is connected at this V in point and ground point is connected over here output is taken at V out point come and go and ground point so we will put a patch here in between these two points so in this way we have completed the interconnection of the circuit and now we can adjust the quality factor of the circuit by varying this now so with the help of this knob you can adjust the quality factor now, uh, we can observe that the input frequency given from this uh, uh, function generator is 10 hertz in this case will observe this frequency 10 hertz and the output is shown over here so we will record these points in our table the input frequency is at this moment is 10.12 hertz Input voltage is 2.05 volts. Output voltage is 1.63. These are peak to peak values. And gain, which is V out by V in, is equal to 0.795. I will take another reading. We will increase the input frequency slowly. Uh, we will say at this particular frequency 26 hertz will observe the input and output waveforms and will record this this time we have input frequency as 25.7 hertz and input is 2.05 volts output is 840 milli volts so 0 0.840 and gain is equal to 0.4 
again we'll increase the input frequency nearby say so 42 hertz so in this way you can observe the input and output waveforms like this we will record these readings at this moment 41.82 is input frequency out input uh, voltage is 2.09 volts peak to peak and output is 450 at millivolts so the gain is 0 0.2 153 again we will take another reading we will increase the frequency at say at 50 hertz let us see what happens in this case at 50.48 hertz the input is 2.09 volts and output is 350 millivolts so 350 millivolts and gain is equal to 0.167 again we will take another reading we will increase this frequency slowly and go at say 65 hertz let us see the waveforms at this moment the input frequency is 65.54 hertz input voltage is 2.05 volts and output is 0.6 volts so the gain is 0.29 in this case again we will take some higher readings by increasing this frequency say we are taking this as here this is our input and output and in record this is 80.7 hertz input is 2.09 volts and output is 0.83 volts and so in this way the gain is 0.39 so if we are interested in plotting these two readings we can have this by plotting graph like this we can get some more readings uh, say we are taking some more readings uh, we will increase the frequency to say 100 hertz the output is like this at this moment the frequency is 99.66 hertz and input is 2.05 volts output is 0.990 so gain is 0.48 and in this way we have obtained another set of readings now again we will increase this frequency to some higher value say 100 some 102 so in this case the frequency is 102 0.82 hertz input is 2.05 volts and output peak to peak is 1 volt in this case the gain is 0.487 so now you can see that the graph is showing a characteristic like this which is very similar to characteristic of the notch filter we are getting a notch frequency at 50.48 you can observe that we are getting notch frequency at 50.48 which is very close to the 50 hertz theoretical value so in this way we have characterized a notch filter characteristics and studied it thank you very much